I'm Charles Davis, and welcome to Sports Stars of Tomorrow. We're starting today's cross-country tour in the state of Michigan with one of the top volleyball recruits in the 2025 class. And that's this week's five-star feature. Life can be a journey. Campbell Flynn knows that. In fact, journey is literally her middle name. So our firstborn is Jacoby. I was reading a read aloud book and the main character's name was Journey, but I thought Jacoby and Journey are a little too similar. So uh, we made that as her middle name because it was quite a journey to, to have her. We had some issues in between, so we thought it was fitting. Campbell and her family moved around a bit when she was young, but they've settled in the greater Detroit area for about eight years now. Campbell attends Mercy High School, which is an all girls Catholic school in Farmington Hills. One constant in her life throughout all those moves has been sports. Both of her parents were athletes when they were younger, and Campbell proved to be natural at just about any sport she tried. When I was really young, I played a ton of sports like tennis, soccer, volleyball, basketball, like anything. She just kind of gravitated towards basketball and volleyball, and to be honest, it was totally up to her what she wanted to do. My husband and I are big advocates of, you know, we've lived our life, now it's your turn to live out your passions. So it was a really tough decision, but I think she made the right one. You might look at Campbell's six foot three inch frame and assume she's an outside hitter or middle blocker. And she could probably do well in either of those spots if asked. But her decision making and leadership make her a natural for the setter position. In fact, PrepDig.com ranks her as the number one setter in the 2025 class and a top five overall player. I think the control that she has, ball control, the control of the team, the leadership, people look up to her. The setter is your quarterback, so she fits perfectly. In her junior season at Mercy, despite missing about a third of the matches, Campbell brought home the state's Gatorade Player of the Year award after recording 553 assists and 124 kills while leading the Marlins to their second state title in program history. This team was really special. Everyone just had fun. We were kind of the underdogs a little bit but we just had fun playing volleyball and it carried us through winning a state championship. For us here at Mercy and the girls, and it's a testament to the girls and even their families, you know, making it to the Final Four and winning a state championship is always our goal. That is the ultimate goal and the fact that they set the bar that high. The reason Campbell missed so many matches last year was that she was competing for Team USA at both the U19 and U21 World Championships. She was called on to do both because many college players were unable to go to the U21 tournament due to a scheduling conflict with the NCAA season. Campbell helped the U19 team win gold in Croatia last year. And this past summer, she made the U21 team again and helped the red, white, and blue win another championship. There's so many memories that I'm gonna cherish. I've been so thankful to have the opportunity, obviously. And I've met so many like really good people and some of my close friends are on those teams. Well, U19, I kind of like, I was a little nervous because it was my first time trying out for like a national team. And I kind of doubted myself, but in the end I made it and I definitely learned a lesson where I like can't doubt myself. So now I have like a little bit of an edge to prove myself, especially to the people that I'm playing with that are older. Like I'm trying to prove myself that I should make the team. Number one is the athleticism, being 6'4 and left-handed. I don't think people realize the amount of time she actually puts into volleyball. And then I think just the knowledge that she has about volleyball and continues to improve her knowledge is just far above the majority of volleyball athletes at her age. While her achievements continue to stack up, Campbell still finds time to give back to both the Mercy Volleyball Program and the greater community. I like to coach a lot of little kids playing volleyball. I like to just teach them the game of volleyball, so at Legacy I coach for them. And then as a team, we did this like PB&J workshop. So we went downtown Detroit and we made like PB&Js and just like different other foods and we passed them out to the homeless and it was, I, I, it was really cool. I love the fact that she's so passionate about her sport, so much so that she wants to give back to it. Some of the feedback that I always receive over the years is that she's super humble and I think that helps because she's a big team player. So she likes to shine the light on all of her teammates and not just herself. Even though sometimes she can be a little shy, she's a very, very good person and she just wants the best for everyone and she's a very, very loyal friend. The next step in Campbell's journey, the University of Nebraska, a perennial championship contender that drew more than 92,000 fans to a match last year. Campbell's excited to play for those crowds and also for whatever else the future may bring. Nebraska fans are insane in a good way. I always grew up watching them. I was a big fan 
and it's always been like my dream school. The sky's the limit. I mean, national championships at Nebraska, I think playing professionally, whether it's here in the United States now that we have a professional league, whether it's going to Europe, and I think she has her, her sights set on possibly the Olympic team, which is the ultimate for, for any athlete. It's a big goal. It's definitely a big goal. Obviously, I need to keep myself healthy, but it, it would be amazing to even like compete for being on the Olympic team. It's really exciting to think about all of the opportunities that she has earned. She's kind of my idol in a way, so I'm super proud of her. I tell all my friends about her, and I'm kind of her biggest fan, and she's gonna accomplish great things in the future.